Hi guys, let's make water as quickly as possible. Press numpad one, choose your default cube, press S to scale it out, make it large, press G and then Z and just bring it above the red line. And then we can go to our physics properties, click on fluid and we'll make this the third domain. The domain is the area and all the water will be simulated within that area. Press shift A and now we need to choose a place where the water will start. We'll use a cylinder and we'll scale this down and just picture the cylinder being at the end of a faucet where water may come from so we'll just chuck it there for now press then we can go to our settings quickly we can choose fluid and we're going to choose flow and we're going to change this to liquid and we're going to change well if it's geometry this is the only bit of water you'll see but if we change it to inflow water will come out of here pretty much non-stop which is what we want as if it were a faucet so I'm quite happy with that next thing we want to do just for interest sake we're going to add one more mesh and we are going to use a torus. I'm going to press G, bring it somewhere here. And uh, that should be fine. And we're going to take fluid and we're going to choose an effector and it's going to have a collision. I'm quite happy with everything the way it is. If you want, you can mess around with the colors now. Uh, one thing I do want to do is just change those normals. And I do want to change the color. So I'm going to add one material. And let's make this that color. There we go. Now the next thing you want to do is go back to your physics properties. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to change a few more things quickly. Uh, one thing you can... Let's scroll further down. All right. So a few things you need to do. So one, one thing you want to do is switch this to all. It will just be more accurate. And you can turn on... Well, change this. It shouldn't be on gas. We need to change this to liquid. Just wondering why the settings weren't showing. And we can turn on diffuse over here. And you can select whether you want it to be on one of these presets. We can span, expand open water, honey, or oil. We'll choose water in this case. And I recommend you also choose mesh. And you can increase the detail. And once you've done that, and we can just bake this. It'll take a few seconds to bake. Um, I'm baking it for the full 250 frames. We could have set this to 100 and that would have been fine. So I'll see you now. Once your animation has been baked, you can just press play. And you can see the liquid pour down and it's affected by this. Let's actually pause that quickly. So because we've made this a collision thing, you can see how the liquid, as soon as it hits it, let's press play. Definitely affected by it as if it were water and obviously our domain area we've created a perimeter for so there's a few things you can do let's just press uh, pause now if you want to select your domain your domain is now this liquid right so and if we go to our physics properties we can free all and you can decide whether you want the borders to have collisions I'm going to leave it as is but you can also Let's just go back to X-ray mode. You can also um, decide on the details so of your of your fluid, which I think is quite important. So you might go over here, and you might increase the resolution to, let's say, 64, which is double the resolution we just had. And just for the sake of things, I'm going to kind of leave everything just as it is, and I'm going to bake it, and let's see how it looks. Alright, now that we finally baked that, that took a lot longer to do. Let's see how it interacts. Now, let's go back into the shader viewport. We press play. It definitely does interact. Definitely does look a lot smoother. And by the way, I haven't rendered this out yet. Once, it, once it's rendered out, it will look a lot smoother and nicer. And it's currently using the color I set it for, which was, uh, I guess, yellow. Yeah, orange. And we can just click on this. And if we change it, it will change the color over there as well. And if you render this out, let me just press, let me just pause this and just, what we could do is, let's look what the camera sees. Yeah, so if you render this image out I'm rendering it out on Eevee and it's on the default settings um, it looks a bit pixelated so all we need to do is right click on this shade smooth 
render image again. But honestly, for there we go. That looks a lot better and more like water, but uh, more like liquid. I mean, but I mean the big takeaway from this, from a rendering point of view, this will always look better on cycles. And unfortunately, my computer doesn't have a graphics card even, so I can't even render this out on a graphics card. But I've changed this to cycles. Let's just see if I can render an image. We'll do a few frames. And you can see it looks a lot better, a lot clearer, which is quite nice. But I'm going to stop it there. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.